So resection of a pelvic mass. The question came in, and I thought this was a, a, a fantastic question. The AMA created a CPT code uh, 49203 through 49205 for resection of pelvic masses. So some of you who are newer, the AMA puts out the CPT codes, which are procedure codes for outpatient coding procedures. Um, there are uh, the question was, are these codes supposed to be coded when the primary organ have been removed? For example, a 30 centimeter large mass, pelvic mass, turned out to be uh, cystoadenoma, and I said that kind of wrong, uh, of the ovary excised separately and then performed a hysterectomy. Ultimately, what's going on here is that uh, I just went ahead and pulled out from find a code, that first code, 49203, and let's look at that since we have so many new people. That's an excision or destruction. That means we're taking out or destroying. Uh, open, meaning they're going to go in and open them up. They're not doing it laparoscopically. Intra-abdominal tumors, cysts, or endometriomas, one or more peritoneal uh, mesenteric or retroperitoneal primary or secondary tumors, largest tumor, five centimeter uh, diameter or less. Now, for our newbies, which really warms my heart because I'm sure when I said all of that, you were impressed with my knowledge and you thought, wow, that's intimidating. And you want to uh, grow up to be a coder just like me, right? So you can say those big words. The fact is we're just taking something out, right? We're taking a, a tumor or a cyst out. This code 49203 is a code range going up to, to uh, 205. And the fact is, is we are not going to code for that excision or destruction of the tumor or cyst if, if the actual whole organ is taken out. Right, because uh, it's actually two different procedures. You're either going to do an ablation and destroy that. Here is a great graphic. Um, yeah, as you, some of you may know, I like to do pictures. So that is actually a laparoscopic view of the uterus and all those little things that are wrapped around it look to me not as an expert, probably adhesions and stuff. So they're going to go in and remove that. So when you look at that code range, the uh, 49203 through 49205 is based on the size of the tumor, the diameter of the tumor and that's that they're going to take out. But if we're taking out the entire uterus, and most of the time when they do that, they end up doing a histooophorectomy, which means that they're taking the uterus and the um, uh, ovaries, or uh, this is a word I learned back when I was very young, and just starting out in the medical field, uh, histosalpingo ufuforectomy. So if you knew the verbiage, that just means you're taking out the uterus, the fallopian tubes, and the ovaries. We're taking everything out. Uh, and I got the code for that at the end here. We'll, we'll look at it. And find a code is brilliant because it gives you a description of what is happening when you have these procedure codes so just quickly you know it's just saying that we're we're doing an open excision or destruction of an intra-abdominal or retro perineal tumors so uh, something is going on in there and we're going to destroy it right we're going to get rid of this tissue and a lot of times uh, it's because it's it could be benign, but it gets bigger and it causes a problem, discomfort. Sometimes things that are benign can turn into cancerous, depending on the cells and the pathologist can make that decision. Uh, but it doesn't matter if it's uh, benign, meaning non-cancerous, or if it's malignant, which is cancerous. They're still using this code to take that out. You don't have, uh, where th with ICD, sometimes you have to define whether it's uh, benign or malignant. So again, we're going to go in, we're going to take out the uh, abnormal tissue, but leave the organ. That's what those codes mean. So our person had asked, if we're going to go out, take out the tumor, but we're also taking out the organ itself, do we code for taking out the tumor? Or, and the organ, or do we just code the organ? Um, scroll down just a little bit, and I'll show you the next 
uh, set of description. Uh, notice here in the description of that code, it said the tumor could be completely excised or destroyed because sometimes they do like an ablation. That's important to know. Also, just for your own benefit, know that the location, the size, and the extent of the tumor needs to be noted in the documentation for you to be able to pick the code to the highest specificity, okay? So uh, just also for your information, uh, as we scroll down, retroperitoneal tumors are treated as in the same phase uh, as if we're working, uh, taking care of maybe an injury to the kidneys, the uterus, or renal vessels. Uh, and then just showing you again, those codes is, uh, are based on the size. Now, the next uh, page is going to give you a little bit of an example that came with another site, which I have uh, uh, footnoted these so you can go back and do uh, education on your own part, bring up your skill knowledge. Depending on the type of cancer, what type of surgery would be done? Okay, so they could remove the entire tumor but leave the organ intact. Uh, they could remove the cancer that's contained in just one area. So they take part, say the liver, so uh, instead of uh, removing just the tumor uh, and or and or taking the entire liver out, they're going to, to dissect it and pull out the tumor and part of the liver, or they could debulk a tumor. And there's a description on what each of those mean and why they would do those. Ultimately, that debulking of a tumor uh, tends to be the, the tumor is so big, but we can't get all of it, so we're going to make it smaller. We're going to get rid of as much as we can. Sometimes that happens with benign, but uh, uh, different reasons. Why? Why would they do it? Sometimes it's just because of the pain. Uh, now, I wanted to wrap up that a hysterectomy, of course, is the removal of the uterus itself. And one of the reasons that they would do that would be endometrial cancer, which is not a tumor, right, or a mass per se. It's the lining, cancerous cells in the lining of the uterus. But uh, if we have an, uh, a a mass that's in there, they and they say that it's endometrial cancer, it's developed a mass, they'll usually, well, not usually, I can't say that, but a lot of times they'll take the, in everything, depending on what the pathology or the cells came back uh, as reading. And in that case, even if they take just the uterus, the hysterectomy, because the mass is inside the uterus or it's out on the uterus wall, wherever it is, um, you would not code those CPT codes for the excision of the mass if they take the whole uterus because it's actually two separate procedures. And, and you have to think for a couple things here, a couple points. One, we are doing this for statistical reasons and we're doing this to be reimbursed. If the provider is dissecting and excising a mass and cutting away uh, and leaving the organ intact, that's a specific skill set and will take a certain amount of time depending on what organs involved, right? But if they're taking out the entire organ, is it easier or is it harder? The fact is, is that there's a lump sum of money that's provided for the removal of an organ, and there's a lump sum of money that's provided for excising a mass from an organ, okay? So uh, you don't get paid for both if you're doing one job, just taking the whole organ out. So you're not getting paid for excising the mass. And so um, the simple answer after all of that information is no, you don't code them together. And some people think, well, you code them together and put a modifier on there. No, you don't. And then um, if you do a total hysterectomy, meaning that you're going to uh, take the, the corpus and the cervix, which is just uh, and the fallopian tubes and everything, uh, then that's what that would look like. You're, you're taking uh, the uterus in that one picture. That's actually the fallopian tubes. And I think that's the part of the ovaries down there on the bottom that have been dissected, although those look awfully large for ovaries. But um, anyway, what 
I, not that I really know how big the ovaries are about this big, sometimes depending, by, about the size of an egg. So there you go. That's that's uh, the long answer for that question. Do you need more medical certification and business training? Learn more at www.cco.us.